at damage taking part in most of areas, including Suffolk and Southampton counties. Many people and business owners losing their homes as well as partial damage to their buildings. But they say they're lucky to be alive more than anything. It was a storm that left a damaging impression along parts of the eastern shore. I thought we were going to die. Yeah. I thought that was it. This man in Bertie County, North Carolina, felt gust overnight tilt his home sideways. Walking out of my room, that I felt like, I felt like a heavy vibration in the house start shaking. That's how I know the house tilted like towards the back way. Officials there say 12 people were taken to the hospital. Verti County is, is like home to me and my family, so it's very unfortunate. Our hearts go out to all of the families and, who were affected and, of course, those who lost loved ones. Meanwhile, up the coast here in Virginia, parts of Suffolk were hit hard as well. I immediately jumped up and came down from Chesapeake to come check on my mom. And when I got here, it was a disaster. And it felt like a whistling, like a train whistle. And I was like, that's something different. And then the rain started picking up and everything just like blowing. The windows started shaking. Southampton County also seeing heavy rain and winds. A tornado touching down early this morning in Cortland, where the farmer's market was hit hard. Luckily, though, no serious injury. Blessing out of all this, there was nobody here and nobody got hurt. I, I, I suppose that the, the physical damage can be repaired or replaced and you can't, you can't get human life back. Ricky Jones works at the farmer's market. He and his co-workers are trying to salvage whatever they can. It's, it's quite overwhelming. I mean, you didn't have any idea that what wind can do to you see it. Some other business owners were more fortunate. We were lucky. We dodged the bullet. And hope the cleanup can be a quick and safe process. I ain't never seen nothing like that around here. Now a shelter has been set up at the Southampton High School for storm uh, victims. Meanwhile, the Red Cross is, is assisting those in need. Working for you tonight, I'm Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 News.